Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Zephyr Epic here and welcome to our first look at the brand new 2023-24 SP Game Used Hockey Hobby Box. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to get this yesterday as I have a bit of a cold, at least I caught one over the weekend and still kind of was going through it. So, uh, But we're doing six boxes today instead of our usual one box per uh, product for release day. So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. Uh, obviously the main thing you're looking for in this are those Bedard draft day marks. There's obviously is one of one rookie and other stuff like that. But SP Game Use is generally a very risk reward product. You'll see a lot of people tend to, if they do open it, open it up by the case or, um, you know, heavily go into group breaks for their teams. Just because again, it is a one pack per box, six card per pack format. Uh, where you get three memorabilia and or tech cards, two base set or insert cards, and then kind of one autograph or premium memorabilia card per box. Um, it is, again, yeah, super risk reward. So there's your kind of stuff. I do like the box styling. Um, yeah, I box styling is pretty cool. But again, it's a super risk reward product. Um, hopefully, you know, it pays off. And hey, we got a thick card right out of the gate. Those are normally good signs. Uh, the main thing that you want to find in this product actually is that Bedard game use net card from his uh, from his first game. So that is a pretty cool little card to see. So hopefully we can, you know, hopefully we snag one of those because that'd be pretty cool. All right, start off with a Noah Dobson base. And so one thing that's important is that uh, pretty much every single base card you see, the majority of them will actually be parallels. The true base are number two, the player's jersey numbers with the last copy being a uh, one of one with an autograph, essentially like that. So Bedard's base rookie, like his true rookie will be out of 98 and then 98 out of 98 will feature an autograph. At least I'm pretty sure that's still the same way it's happening, but um, other ones are typically they do draft years and a bunch of other things for parallels. So uh, Dobson to 224 and into a patch. That's actually a pretty nice patch from the uh, Winter Classic of Ricard Raquel. So, Ricard Raquel fabrics from the Winter Game. Nice patch to 35. I believe these are game use from the Winter Classic, it should specify. Um, yep, yeah, yeah, they are uh, event use. So, they doesn't necessarily see, say game use, but it's still pretty cool. Um, that patch is obviously absolutely disgusting. Uh, I love the old school jerseys that they use for the Winter Classics. That one's cool and worth highlighting, kind of. We'll get, we'll get a couple stands out here as we go along. So nice Ricard Raquel patch to, again, 35. Pretty solid there. Uh, Will Cooley on the Authentic Rookies Auto Blue. These aren't numbered. Uh, but just a uh, base rookie auto will Cooley and sticker auto on that. Um, the majority of stuff in SP game used is sticker auto. So jet Greaves on the authentic rookie autos as well. And Morgan Riley on a Jersey. And I think our last card is a deep cut. Again, not numbered on the Riley Jersey of Dylan Gunther to 250. These are kind of cool. One of those textile insert cards they got. Oh, I thought this was, so this part is kind of like just cut out and then the middle area is kind of just like a, just kind of like a black card on the inside. So yeah, different insert set, foiling's pretty cool. Uh, so far that's pretty much what to expect from a box SBX. Some stuff that, you know, is cool. Some stuff that you might not be the biggest fan of and some couple autographs that, you know, it's hit or miss, but Normally when you hit in a box of SPX or SPX, sorry, SP game used, I mean SPX for that matter too, you hit really well. Um, it's been one of those products where like the good boxes are absolutely insane and the bad boxes are pretty brutal. And there's kind of like very rarely is there an in-between. So <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just been one of the things about the product for the past few years. So let's get into box number two here and see if we have any better luck than the first box. Again, I'll take a Will Cooley auto. I'll take, um, you know, the Riley jersey's not bad. I actually should just leave on top of the Cooley. I believe most of the stuff will be 55 point. Patches will be 180 point. Jerseys will be 100. And that, um, it seems like that Dylan Gunther to 250 was actually a 75 point card. So um, yeah, just some stuff to keep in mind. But, uh, here we go, next box. And I really do, the box, like the neon kind of uh, 
Miami Vice, I guess, color scheme is pretty cool. Represents the All-Star game from last year. So kind of cool that they went with that similar theme again. Kind of kept it because that's what SP Game Use focuses on is a lot of really cool, unique stuff uh, from different kind of games and points in the year that are worth kind of remembering and talking about. So it looks like that premium card is going to be typically in that second to third slot. So let's go ahead and take a few cards off the back here. Try and save the big card till the end, at least of each box. It's a little bit more fun that way. I find at least, but you know, Radish on the Jersey. Hopefully we get, you know, his Chicago teammate there. Oh, we'll put the Jersey over there. Akito Hirose. That's actually nice for us. Cause these are going to be in our store and, uh, you know, anytime you get a local player, local rookie, always nice. Charlie Coyle on the All-Star or Winter Classic Fabrics, I believe. Um, yeah, event used hockey memorabilia uh, from the Winter Classic. So those also have the mention that it's from the Winter Classic. Uh, gold of Latang to 105, 52 of 105 on the base parallel. And then a rookie debut. It's kind of like a retro inspired design to 499 of Will Cooley. So cool little rookie insert there. And oh my goodness. Well, that's a heck of a hit right there. Jack Hughes patch auto on the ink sweaters to five. All right. When you hit, you hit big. Um, really nice looking card. Obviously sticker auto, a lot of stuff in SP game used is going to be sticker auto, mainly your draft day marks and stuff where it's like, the card doesn't actually have to be physically printed in order for the players to sign it will be um, kind of on card, I guess is how you would describe it. But Jack Hughes, Hatch Auto to five. Yeah, he's having a bit of a down year, but I mean, come on. Superstar Patch Auto to five. You cannot be upset about that box. And hey, we got a nice little Canuck in there. I'm happy about that. So yeah, on to the next box. Again, Adam Fantilli is in this, Logan Cooley. Um, rookie crop is generally pretty solid and yeah, obviously you're looking for Bedard. You're looking for those, uh, those draft day marks and net cores, but even like his base rookies and stuff are selling pretty well. I would caution if you're buying them, just be aware that as more stuff comes out, those cards will probably generally, they tend to decrease in value over time. Um, as this is one of the first like premium products of the 23, 24 season, you'll see that the prices will probably be a little bit inflated, but as stuff like Black Diamond, um, you know, SPX, stuff like that starts slowly coming out over the next few months, you'll start to see these cards decline in value. And again, just in general, because there'll be more cards for people to chase after and everyone's gonna tr focus on the newest thing. So something to keep in mind. All right, so no patch in here, which can be a good sign. Cause if you get, you know, one of those one of one rookie autos, it could be pretty good. So let's go ahead and we'll go. I, I think we'll go two off the back. Two off the back seems pretty safe. So we'll get the Huberto jersey for the Flames. Kind of bouncing back a little bit. And again, apologies if my voice is a little bit on the nasally side. I'm pretty stuffed up still, but uh, so that's cool. Malkin on the uh, threads. Again, it's going to say that um, event used on the back. So uh, whether or not it doesn't specify game used, which it'd be you know, nice if it was game used, but um, I'm sure it probably is, but it's probably just legal reasons. But yeah, anyways, Uko Pakalukanen to 224 on the base parallel. And hey, uh, banner year of Adam Fantilli. So nice Fantilli banner year card. This is going to be a banner that they actually hung up in the, uh, ooh, uh, in the, in the NHL draft. So that's pretty cool, but everyone's kind of looking for this guy. Connor Bedard to 99 on the new grooves. That is a really good pull. All right. And hey, had auto behind it. But Bedard to 99 on the new grooves. Let's go. Let's go. That's a that's a pretty, pretty good pull. That's honestly probably our highest valued pull, which is pretty wild to think about because the patch auto of Jack Hughes is Probably not going to sell as well. <laughs> so, uh, and then a uh, Yuna Kopanen on the Deep Cuts Blue Auto to 75. So this time it's got like blue, I, don't, I wouldn't call it construction paper, but it's kind of what it looks like. So cool card. 
just, you know, you're hoping to get in a good player. Fantilli is also really nice as well. Uh, sometimes these banner your relics fit into uh, 75 point top loaders, but I'll just put in 100 to be safe. So yeah, 100 is fairly safe. But hey, heck of a good box there, Fantilli banner your relic. I mean, yeah, it's kind of just plain looking, but uh, the Bedard to 99, I mean, that's kind of why you're opening up the product, right? You're opening up for Bedard. So ooh, speaking of Bedard, nice serial number on this box, 98. All right. All right. Well, uh, pretty, pretty insane three boxes, honestly. Uh, don't expect all three boxes to be this good. Because, uh, I mean, I really like the Raquel Patch Auto. Yes, he's not a big name player, but it's still a really cool card. Um, I mean, the Jack Hughes Ink Sweater to five is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and again, the Bedard, I mean, the new Groove's Bedard is, again, why you're opening up the product. So you're hoping to try and land his top rookie cards. So be excited to have that at the uh, Langley Event Center for the card show next week. So looking forward to that. Uh, All-Star of Goudreau on the base. I think, by the way, we'll pull off. It seems like the back three here. Yeah, we'll go with the back three. So we'll go back to the, uh, but yeah, Pionk on the blue auto. Again, blue autos don't have numbering. Sometimes they'll be grouped uh, or like short prints and not. I don't think Pionk's going to be a short print. Uh, here's a gets off on the deep cuts to 250. Again, similar thing, kind of the see-through card. And a uh, global series banner of, uh, we'll keep that there, Logan Couture for the Sharks. This is from, obviously, when they did the global series in the Czech Republic. And then the Gaudreau again. I'll uh, we'll put that over here and then we'll go into a Logan Cooley rookie sweaters. So nice Logan Cooley sweater. This is going to be obviously event worn. And then uh, Matthew Nice to $4.99. So that's a little bit more like what your average box is going to look like. Is it great? Well, it's kind of like, you know, Depends on what you're interested in collecting. Obviously the cards are pretty different. Um, not everyone's gonna like it, but yeah, it is uh, having been worn by this player, which again, a lot of rookie year stuff in every single sport is just going to be event worn because getting game worn stuff into products that are coming out along the time that they're playing is pretty much impossible from a logistics standpoint. Uh, you might see some in like the cup or in Premiere, for example, they might do the mega patches where they just have to worry about getting the patches in there. But um, for the most part, most rookie year stuff is going to be event worn just because, again, logistically, it just makes sense. So, yeah, that box is a little bit more indicative of what your average SP or SP game used box, uh, your average Spagoo box is going to look like. You're going to get, you know, a couple relics that you may or may not be interested in, some base cards that you may or may not be interested in. And yeah, the first three boxes were kind of high rolls, if I'm being completely honest. So uh, even the Raquel patch is a really good card to get. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's get into the fifth box here. So pack five. And I think this is a little bit thicker. Ooh, I like the blue on the back. That normally means a draft day mark, so we will end on that guy. The oldest, ooh, nice Miko Ranton in Jersey for the Avalanche also. So this is going to be just obviously an Avalanche jersey, but he's depicted as an all-star on the card. So there's that. Uh, you got Nikita Nestorenko on the deep cuts. 250, I think we got a global series? Nope, stadium series of Andrei Svechnikov. Mr. Svechnikov, as Jordan Martinuk would say. Uh, then we're following up with a, uh, Seth Jarvis on the base red with a authentic rookies red. Is that our first actual like authentic rookies? I feel like that's our first true like non-retro rookie parallel of Peltier to 222. And uh, what way does this go? I think it goes this way. Oh my goodness. What are these boxes? Sidney Crosby on the All-Star Skills Dual Patch to 35. That is kind of ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm just, I don't know if we're just getting pretty lucky, but it feels like we're just getting pretty lucky based off past years of SP game use. Uh, 
That is a sick card. I mean, even so like the Bedard box is a good example of we got the right player in the right parallel, but like, come on, that's, that's pretty insane. Uh, it's again, it's anyone will tell you that opens up SP game use. It's always risk reward. And typically when it rains, it pours. And I mean, Hey, it's raining hits. So I'm pretty happy here. Hopefully our uh, half case break is this good tomorrow. So we, uh, it's already sold out, so there are no spots available in that, but we'll be live at 4 p.m. on Twitch. There'll be kind of a link to that in the description below, at least to um, our Twitch channel if you're interested. That'll be 4 p.m. Pacific time. So we'll start off with, I think, a speed game used and then a series two half case after that. So, all right, last box, rather insane. This pack is really thin, so I don't ex expect any patch auto goodness. But at the same time, again, if you hit the right player in a lower numbered set, you're pretty thrilled. So, all right, where do we want to end on here? Uh, I think we'll end on the purple guy. That seems like a good spot to end on. Purple normally means some sort of relic auto in previous years, but uh, it is pretty thin. So Seth Jones on the jersey, got his teammate. Ooh, uh, all-star skills duel of Nick Suzuki, so be interesting i don't think because like it can't be from his jersey right uh i guess he did he wear a jersey in the skill i guess because they recorded that a different day but would have been cool if it was his polo would have been something different uh ottinger from the 2017 draft in a banner year that is probably a uh yeah as being used in the 2017 nhl entry draft uh nick suzuki again to 224 i think we got two cards left here uh, authentic rookies of Fraser Minton to 219. So should be an autograph or a pretty big card here. Oh, to five. Nikita Nestorenko. So not the biggest name, but auto to five of Nestorenko. I mean, hey, that's still a win. Obviously, it is not the biggest card, but it's still an auto to five. Yeah, the overall box wasn't the best, but like you, you take an auto to five from this product, even if it's not the best player. So um for six boxes of sp game use this was honestly pretty incredible uh that what was it our th fourth box is probably more indicative of what your average box will be kind of the fourth box in this box um where like you can get some cool stuff but like on average you know it might not be the best but hey there are also some absolutely beautiful cards that you can get from it so just going over a quick little recap from uh our break i guess we have you know the logan cooley jersey which I mean, pretty nice getting one of the top rookies. Uh, Adam Fantilli on the banner year. Again, one of the top rookies. Uh, the Nestor Echo auto to five is just, I mean, anytime you get an auto to five, you normally like, it's a, it's a good box. You can't deny it's a good box. Um, the Winter Classic Fabrics patch, the 35 of Raquel, just beautiful patch on that one is pretty sick. Uh, I mean, I guess the Crosby's like, Man, from six boxes, having a Crosby to 35 dual patch as like your third best hit is pretty wild for this product. Um, maybe it's just a lot deeper this year. I don't know. I'll have to go watch some more and we'll have to see what our breaks are like. But yeah, uh, second best is this Jack Hughes patch auto to five, which is absolutely crazy to be saying that. But I mean, come on, we pulled a Bedard new grooves to 99. You know, that's got to be the hit. So anyways, uh, thank you all for tuning in. And again, apologies for the slight delay, but it looks like that extra day led to us getting some pretty cool cards. So one more look at that, Bedard. Thanks again for tuning in. And I will see you probably when uh, Black Diamond comes out, but there might be a couple, couple videos in between here and there. Maybe if not new products, but maybe some old products. So take care and I will see you next time.